And next week marks the 150th year for Milwaukee's Memorial Day Parade. This long-standing tradition has certainly had some challenges. But as Scott Steele reports, dedication keeps it all alive. 1865, America's bloodiest battle, the Civil War, ended. President Abraham Lincoln assassinated. And Memorial Day, originally dubbed Decoration Day, began. Born of a need to grieve, to heal, and to honor the fallen. That same era, 150 years ago, Wisconsin's oldest parade marched through the streets of Milwaukee for the first time. We don't want people to ever forget why this day is so important. And for the last 35 years, one family has ensured a seamless continuation of the tradition. This is um, Parade Central. With the support of some dedicated volunteers. So I sent that over to him, so he's got a copy of this. Perfect. So when Karen Armstrong's parents passed away a few years ago, her commitment to continuity was unquestionable. As your father is in his last stages of life, and I was holding his hand and he looked at me and he said, Karen, when I die, that parade's going to die. And I said, no, Daddy, it won't. Wow. Individuals like 89-year-old Clayton Chipman, the everyday heroes who walk among us, they appreciate the annual effort more than most. Uh, we've got to have those people that are dedicated to patriotism and freedom. And uh, if we don't, someone's going to come along and take it from us. This Marine, the 2015 Parade Grand Marshal, spends every Memorial Day, actually every day, remembering his friends who failed to return with him from Iwo Jima and World War II. I, I don't represent me. I represent all those fellows that were killed, all the ones that were wounded, and all the ones that served. Inspiration to take a moment in gratitude and appreciation. In Milwaukee, Scott Steele, today's TMJ4. And the parade kicks off at the corner of 4th and Wisconsin on Monday at 2 p.m. And it's good that there is such a strong effort to keep this going. Yeah, well-deserved yeah. salute. We can't do enough to thank the men and women. Well,